What's up everyone? Welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today we're going to be talking about something extremely interesting. It's a brand new AI tool. Actually, it's part of an existing tool, but it's a brand new feature that this tool has where you can basically go to any website that you want and just click on the nav bar, click on the hero section, click on, you know, some fancy feature section, for example, and then paste it into Magic Path and actually get the exact copy of that section. And it's a Chrome extension. It's called Web Capture HTML to React with Magic Path. So this is how it looks like. All you have to do basically is just click on that Add to, Add to Chrome button and you'll basically see it up here in your bookmarks. So yeah, in today's video, I'm just gonna show you how to properly use it and gonna show you a few use cases of how other people have used it so that you can kind of get some inspiration to use it for your own projects. Anyways, before we dive into today's video, would love to invite you guys to my Discord community. We are a bunch of different startup founders, designers, developers doing different things all around the world. And we get together to talk, do like a Google Meet every single weekday. So if you guys are interested in joining, um, the link to that Discord community is down in the description below. So it's actually extremely easy to use. You can go to any website that you want. Let's say we go to AG1 and we can scroll down to a particular section that we like, for example, this one. And then we can go ahead and choose this plugin. We click on select element over here, and then we choose this parent div that contains all of the information that we want to copy. So we just click on this. It's converting the element. We copy the component just like this, and then we go into our magic path editor, and we can basically either just double click and paste it in here and submit it, or we can just paste it like that in open space and it'll start generating automatically. And as you can see, eventually the AI cooks up this section just exactly like we got from the AG1 website, got the image and everything, got the logos, it has the text exactly one-to-one -one as, the, as the original website. And what's cool is that this is all mobile responsive. So this, this frame, if I select it and I start dragging it like this, you can see that it's completely responsive for any breakpoint. And all in all, it's just clean quality React code. What's also insane about Magic Path is that you have these different themes. So you can create your own themes, you can edit different themes, you can make custom themes, you can import themes. Like for example, this is like Discord's dark mode theme. And you can copy sections from other websites, import them into Magic Path and apply a custom theme. So for example, if I were to double click over here and I were to paste this HTML capture and choose a theme over here, let's say we want to choose this IBM Carbon theme and click on generate. And so as you can see, we get, you know, the different style, same, same section, right? Same content, same images even, but different color for the button, different types of sizing and spacing for, for the different fonts. Also the, the button is not rounded like it is over here. We have different colors down here. We even have different fonts, I would say. So it does give that touch of that different theme. But again, it's the same, it's the same section as the original website. And obviously what's great about Magic Path as well is that not only can you do this, but you can also like edit the, the design. So you can make this, for example, smaller if you wanted to, if you wanted to make it like 36 pixels in height, you can do so, you can change the spacing. So it's not just this, you know, crazy AI tool that you can copy things from other websites, but it's also this very advanced and flexible design tool as well. And I honestly don't think if, I, don't, I honestly don't think that there's any other type of AI tool that can give you so much control when it comes to design. You can even replace images. So if I were to, for example, select this, I can replace this with another image upload. And look at that, we get our own blue AG1 designs over here. So it's a nice way to kind of like maybe look at other websites and kind of bring them into Magic Path and test out different types of layouts, different types of themes, different types of images just to kind of get like a good um, overview or preview of how a specific section can look like in your own project. This is also like a great tool for prototyping as well, because, you know, you can look at other websites if you're trying to build like some type of community feature in your own tool or some type of new payment process or some type of flow. You can get some screens from other websites and match them to your own brand and then eventually come up with a cool prototype that you can eventually, you know, bring to your own product. Anyway, some cool examples of what other people have done while beta testing this Chrome extension. Um, this, for example, is like a like a contract card for pricing. As you can see, we have this nice like 
gradient animation in the background of the card, which is really cool. We also have this like interactive timeline over here where you can basically drag the little slider over here and it has a nice gradient to it. And we have this, you know, Neo Home Robot website, which is really nice because there's a few like little things over here, as you can see with the mouse hover, um, you have like the different directions. Shout outs to Anton for building these examples. And some people are also building like interactive components, like for example, this, um, like these different types of sliders that have different types of feels to them. As you can see, some of them, like the dots move as you move them around. Some of them have like a different type of feel to it, like a more heavy movement. Some of them are more light like this. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think um, about this tool. I have the link to the extension in the description below. Try it out. Um, try to copy some different designs. Maybe you have your own website. Try to bring your own website into the Magic Path. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, and if you want to see me build out some types of challenging websites in my YouTube channel, link those websites in the comments below if you want to challenge me and I'll do an, a future YouTube video where I can do that. So hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.